everybody. Good morning, good morning, happy Friday. We made it to the end of the week. Um, this is like the first time I've been able to go live all week because it's been a crazy week. Been dentist appointments and PTA meetings and all kinds of stuff this week. So I am finally live this week and I'm so glad to join you guys this morning. Good morning, if you're joining live, please say hi so I know you're live. And if you are watching on replay, thank you so much, so much, so much for watching this on replay. Uh, I don't think I mentioned it. I'm Allison with Upright and Caffeinated and we are gonna do an awesome, awesome project this morning. Good morning, Don. good morning, Sharon. Um, I just got a huge shipment in from Chalk Couture. And so, I wanted to do a project with you guys this morning because this transfer is finally back in stock. So I wanted to show you guys. Um, so we're gonna do the vintage truck and then the fall add-on for the vintage truck. And so this is what the vintage truck looks like. I'm gonna actually lay it here so you guys can see. This is what the vintage truck looks like when you get it. Um, and then you can cut it apart. You can use just the top part. You can use both parts. This kind of gives it a two-tone underlay. We're actually going to use this one today. This is from the winter add-on, but we're going to do the fall add-on today. And let me show you guys what this looks like. It is huge, 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 huge. It's got so many different things. It's got apples, hay rides. Um, it's got hay bales, apple bushels of apples. It's got pumpkins, corn maize, corn stalks, I, I, just so much stuff. Farmer's market. Um, it has both round and square hay bales, which... If your father-in-law is a farmer, you know the difference between round and square hay, hay bales and that they take two completely different tractors. Um, we were watching a cartoon one time with our kids and um, my father-in-law was in the room and he was like, that cartoon has a round baler pumping out square hay bales. And like to him, it was ridiculous. None of us would have ever known the difference. <laughs> so um, the cool thing is, is this comes with both square and round hay bales if you're, if you're interested. So we're going to work on this, but I do want to mention I have a huge deal. Good morning, Mom. I have a huge deal going on in my coffee shop group, and it involves the vintage truck transfer. So if you're at all interested, I have put the link to join my VIP group, my coffee chat group. It is in the, the um, description of this video. So go ahead and click on that if you want to get into that group and see my deal. It is only good through Saturday night. So um, definitely take advantage. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And I kind of have like an idea of kind of how I wanted to do this. I definitely want to do, I want to do the truck in the couture teal because I love I love the teal with fall colors. Like teal and fall to me just go so well together. Um, and then I want to do pumpkins in this one. And then I wanted to do the word pumpkin patch. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. I know you guys probably can't see because this is so, so big. Um, so I'm going to cut out this pumpkin patch. And um, on, let's see here. I'm going to cut out this, and then we're going to get the pumpkins, which are kind of like down here somewhere. Okay. Pumpkins are right there. And the pumpkins are, are um, like a double transfer. So it, it's one that layers on top of another one. And you guys, this is so awesome. You do the pumpkins, and you can do the pumpkins all in one color. Okay. Then you layer the stems, so you can do the stems in a separate color. So you're not having to try to squeegee a pumpkin and a stem in two different colors. They actually made it so that it layers. So you do, so you could do two separate colors much, much, much more easily um, because it's gonna, you're gonna layer them. I hope that makes perfect sense. All right, I want to do the words this way and then I want the arrow. Um, so let me tell you about this fall add-on. I joined Chocotour last summer. Um, and basically, um, right after I joined, they came out with their, um, holiday, well, the autumn winter catalog. And, um, there was a ton of Christmas stuff in that. And then they came out with the holiday suites. So basically when I joined, I jumped right into Christmas. Like I skipped completely over fall. So I didn't buy this last year. Well, then I bought it at some point, like maybe January or February or something of this year. I ended up buying this. Um, and then I had a customer reach out to me who said they wanted it. And so I just gave them mine. 
because I hadn't opened it yet. And then when I went to buy this in like July, it was sold out and it was sold out like up until August. So it just came back in stock. Um, so that is back in stock. And I'm so glad because I'm so excited to use this. Okay, so basically it's gonna say pumpkin patch this way. We're gonna have this, this, and the pumpkins. Oh, how cute is this gonna be? If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. I am checking comments. Um, good morning, good morning. Okay. So, you know what I am missing is my fuzzing cloth. That's okay, I'll use my shirt. Um, so let's see here. The teal, there it is, there it is, got my teal. So good morning, good morning. So I don't think my comments are working quite right, Mom, because no, I don't see that. So I'm not seeing all the comments. Facebook kind of decides what they want to show you. <laughs> All right, so I just stirred up that teal. I'm gonna start with this underlay. So I'm gonna do this first. And again, this is from the winter add-on. Okay. So let's go ahead and put this on. This is that Buffalo Pie from the winter add-on. And you guys, I'm using the, um, oh, and I'm even doing this backwards. I'm using the Odette board, and there's little hooks on the back, can you see? Um, so I was actually doing that upside down. Um, this is the Odette board. It is a white board with a black frame. And oops, sorry. Let me do this. White board, black frame, and it um, it is made to be reused. You don't have to seal it. You don't have to do anything to it. Um, it's not wood. It's actually like the same as our um, our boutique chalkboards that come in black. So this is a great board if you are looking for a white surface. This is a great, great board to use. I love this board. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my snowman. I can leave a picture of them. Um, but I did the snowman that says, there's no place like home, or let it snow. What does it say? Did it say, look, there's no place like home? Something like that. I don't know what he says. It's Friday, you guys, and I have not had any coffee today. Um, anyway, snowman I did on the whiteboard, and oh my gosh, he looks amazing on white. Like, amazing. All right, so there we've got that, that buffalo pot underlay, okay? So while that dries, I'm just going to grab a paper towel. While that dries, I'm going to go up and do the pumpkin patch up at the top. Okay, so we're gonna do pumpkin patch way up here, right at the top there. And again, my fuzzing cloth has mysteriously disappeared. So I'm using my shirt, which is totally okay. Um, you know, use whatever you've got. I use my jeans a lot, I'm not wearing jeans today, but you can use your jeans, you can use a bath towel, just whatever you got. You just wanna fuzz those new transfers, you wanna fuzz them. Um, my truck and that little buffalo butt underlay are pretty old. I've used them a whole bunch of times, so they don't need to be fuzzed, but they still stick really well and they still work really well. So there's no issues there. Okay. Just going to lay down that pumpkin patch. For pumpkin patch, I'm going to use bark today. So bark is a new color for me. I just got this color. And it is a great, great, like chocolatey brown color. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see. There's snow place like home, Sharon says. So, yep, I thought that's what it said, and then I started to doubt myself. Oops, I got a little splotch of brown right there on that board. I'm just going to wipe that off. All right. That seriously looks like chocolate sauce. That's amazing. Don't eat it. All of our pastes are non-toxic. I just would suggest not eating any of them because it is chalk. So don't want to eat chalk. All right, so I am going to do pumpkin patch in the bark. Um, let's see. The um, silk screens on this, you'll notice if you get this transfer, they have 
um, like a distressed look in the words. So you don't have to go back and distress it. You don't have to go back with a piece of sandpaper like you would if you were painting with a regular stencil. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Um, so it, it, has, uh, it has the blue part of the transfer in those words so that it blocks out so that it looks distressed. So how great is that that you don't have to actually do it yourself? All right, so I think while that dries, I'm gonna hit the hair dryer on this part just to make sure it's absolutely dry, and then we're gonna layer the truck on top. In the meantime, I'm just gonna set this aside and close this up and close that teal up really quickly. We're gonna use it next. Here we go. Okay, so let me just hit this with a hair dryer, and I'm sorry, the I'm trying to get this angle right. I think my overhead camera isn't quite straight, so here we go. So now we're going to do the overlay on this truck. And again, I have used this so many times it does not need to be fuzzed. So when you overlay, all you have to do is just kind of line up, um, uh, line up where the front of the truck is and the back of the truck is with that underlay. It does not need to be perfect. I have placed this too far up, too far down, too far to the side. It still looks right. The thing about um, this vintage truck, it, and I've also noticed if, if even if this pulls up some of that um, underlay, it's still going to look fantastic. It's going to give it more of a vintage look, and it's going to look great. So don't stress about like the placement because um, it's still going to look really good. I promise. Okay, I'm just looking for a good squeegee. That one has like sawdust all over it. I did an event. Um, last weekend and we used wooden box and somehow this thing with squeegees ended up in the box with all the wooden blocks and all the sawdust and so i ended up with with um sawdust all over my squeegees not the end of the world the rubber they can be washed i just don't want to use a a dirty squeegee in my jar of paste because i don't want sawdust all in my paste that wouldn't be fun So I'm just going to do this truck. And again, with the truck, all you need to do is get those silk screen areas. Um, so you don't have to worry about doing like this inside part of the truck that has no silk screen. It's just solid blue. You don't have to worry about getting paste on that. You're just going to waste your paste if you spread paste over there. So just get it on those silk screen parts, and that's all you need to do. All right. Ouija off some of this excess. There we go. And then peel that right off. That looks perfect. That looks absolutely perfect. I love it. So I used the same two colors. I used the, the couture teal for the underlay and for the truck. Now you can do two separate colors. You can actually even do three colors if you wanted. If you used the um, solid underlay of the truck, which let me show you what that looks like. If you use the solid underlay of the truck, which is this part, okay? So if you did that first, then you did the buffalo plaid on top of that with another color. Then you could do the truck, whichever color you wanted. So you could technically have like a three-tone truck um, or a two-tone truck where the underneath isn't the color of your board. The underneath is whatever color you made this underlay. So there's lots of options to work with this transfer. Um, Good morning, Diana. Good morning. Okay, so lots of options. Let's do, let me go back up to this way with this pumpkin patch thing. Because that pumpkin patch should be dry now. So I'm just going to fuzz this a tiny bit on my shirt. Again, I would use a fuzzing cloth, but I forgot it somewhere. Okay, so we're going to go this way right up close to that. 
I'm gonna do that in that same bark color. You don't need a whole lot of paste, that's a really tiny transfer. Just a little bit of paste will go a long way on this one. Here we go. I'm gonna peel that right up. I'm gonna patch this way, and then we'll add the arrow here in a minute. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the pumpkin. Let's go with the pumpkins. I'm gonna leave that out. And for the pumpkins, I'm gonna do um, papaya because papaya is more of a um, burnt orange. It's more of a burnt orange. Let's see if you can see that better. Versus orange peel, which is more of like a jack-o'-lantern bright orange. So I'm gonna hit this truck with the hair dryer because those pumpkins are gonna go right here. So I wanna make sure this part is definitely dry. So let me just hit this with the dryer real quick. forgot I was going to share this video to another group when I started and I kind of forgot. So let me just pop on real quick to my phone and I'm going to hit the share button and I'm going to share this video really quickly to a couple of different groups. There we go. Let's see. Okay. I think I got it. There we go. All set. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so so far we have the pumpkin patch in this way and we've got our truck. Now it's time to add these pumpkins in. All right, so again, buzzing this really quickly as I'm dropping the backing paper. We're gonna put these pumpkins just right in the back of that truck. Just right there. Okay, and again, papaya for the pumpkins because it's more of a burnt orange. If you want that bright orange, orange peel is the color you wanna go with. If you want that bright, bright, like jack-o'-lantern orange. But for this, I wanted kind of more of a burnt color. Okay. I'm gonna grab my squeegee. Make sure there's no sawdust on it because it was in the garage. Okay. And then I'm just gonna add this. And I love the papaya and the teal together. Um, I did that with some of the pumpkin cutouts and oh my gosh, it goes so well together. Those colors just look great together. All right. There we go. So there are those pumpkins. And so I'm gonna just peel that right up and then I have these perfect pumpkins. And you can barely, barely see it, but maybe you can. Can you see where there's like white spots where the stems need to go? You can kind of barely see it. But that is, um, that's where we'll put the overlay. So the only other thing I wanted to do up here is this arrow. And I think I want to um, actually do that in the orange because I want it to pop a little more. Um, or should I do it in the teal? Should I do the arrow? Good morning, Sarah. Should I do the arrow? It's gonna go this way. Uh, should I do it in teal or should I do it in the papaya? So leave me a vote, papaya or teal, and let me know. And I'll sit here for a second while you guys vote. So um, while we're waiting, I will tell you, um, if you're just now hopping on live, that I have an amazing deal in my coffee chat group, which the group is linked in uh, the description of this, this video. Awesome deal, has to do with these transfers. You don't wanna miss it. This is like a once in a lifetime deal. I've never done this special before. Um, so uh, 
if, if you're at all interested um, in finding out what that is, click on that link, join. Sarah says papaya, and Sarah's the only one who's voting. Um, <laughs> so um, it, it, join that group and you can see the deal, which is only good through Saturday. So um, anybody else? Okay, Sarah, I think you win. We're gonna go with papaya, because no one else is voting. <laughs> all right, so let's just do this arrow in the papaya. It's gonna be a nice pop of color. And again, don't need much paste on that. Look how perfect. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Good call, Sarah. Good call. Oh, and even my mom says papaya too. So I'm glad we went with that. All right. So that is such a pretty color. And it's, I say burnt orange, it's, still orange. I mean, like it's still a good, good orange. Um, I know a lot of, uh, a lot of my friends are in Texas and went to the University of Texas. This is a good UT color. It is definitely a burnt orange. So for the stems, I actually want to use this one, which is called pesto. I want them to be a little green. I was thinking of doing the brown, but I think I want another little color popping in there. So I'm going to go with the the pesto. I also just bought Rainforest. You guys, this is a beautiful color for Christmas. That's a really pretty Christmas green. Um, so let me just grab a stir stick and let's make a, mix up the mix up the pesto, which you wouldn't normally hear on a crafting video. <laughs> More of a cooking video, right? So let's mix the pesto. That's pretty. Ooh, that color is very pretty. That would also be a nice Christmas green as well. Um, there's a third new color green. So all these greens are brand new. Rainforest, Pesto, and uh, Sage. I knew it was another food. <laughs> Rainforest, Pesto, and Sage are all brand new greens. Um, and so I just ordered two. I'm about to order the third one because I'm placing another big order. So. Um, once I place that and get that, I will show you guys. All right, let me hit those pumpkins with the dryer because they look the slightest bit wet before I overlay the stems. All right. So again, if you missed the beginning, um, the fall add-on is huge, huge, huge. We've only cut out a few pieces of it. It is gigantic. And it's got bushels of apples, hay bales, round and square, um, corn stalks, all kinds of stuff. They've got words that say harvest festival, crisp apple, market and antique shop, open daily hay rides. Fresh local produce, farm fresh corn, maize, and farmer's market. Which honestly, you guys, a lot of those words are good all year round. If you have like a farmhouse theme, you could use those words for all kinds of things, not just for fall. Um, so to overlay this, I'm so sorry. I, you probably only saw the top of my head. Um, to overlay this, all you do is just kind of put it on. And until you can see all white and that there's no um, orange or whatever color your underlayer is, um, when you see all white, you're, you're lined up straight. So it's super, super easy to line these up. I'm telling you. All right. So again, we're going with the pesto on these and all I'm filling in are those silk screen parts. You do not need to cover the entire transfer. Just dab on the paste where those, where those silk screen openings are. So you'll see it. It's going to be whatever color your board is. If you're working on a black board, it'll be black. With this, it's white. And again, this is that Odette board that I'm in love with. And I have wiped this off about six times. Oh my God, look how perfect. Look how perfect. You can't get perfect like this with pretty much any other, <laughs> any other type of, of um, you know, stencil or anything like that. You don't get that perfect. That is perfection. So I think this looks adorable. Okay, so I want to see what you guys think. What do you think? What do you think? The teal truck with the buffalo plaid, the pumpkins, the pumpkin patch this way with the arrow. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it. So again, I could add more things. I could add like the, the thing about the um, 
market and antique shop open daily or harvest I could do the word harvest festival or whatever I want I think this looks great how it is I just want to make sure you guys can see it okay let's see good morning Karen so good I'm glad you guys think this looks good oh I'm so glad so um again if you're at all interested in any of this make sure you go to my coffee shop group to see the deal um, first before you buy anything <laughs> make sure you see the deal first so um, head over there and check that out uh, I also want to let you know if you are at all interested in learning how you can make money crafting um, if you are the kind of person that like DIYs Christmas gifts now is like the best time to join Chalk Couture as a designer, you get major discounts on products, you can DIY all of your Christmas gifts, and um, it, it's amazing. Now is like the greatest time, um, starting October 1st, if you wanna join. So I have an opportunity group, if you're at all interested in joining, leave a comment that says biz, and I will put you in that group so you can learn all about the business side of being a Chalk Couture designer. And again, if you are a DIYer, um, this might be a good deal for you. So. I hope you guys have a great day. Leave me questions if you have them. Oh, I'm so glad everybody loves it. Um, leave me questions if you have them. And thank you so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I will see you guys next week.